Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. My name is Joshua McDonald and today we are checking out the 2024 Ford Bronco Raptor. Now before we get started with the video, huge shout out to Capital Ford here in Lillington, North Carolina for allowing me to record this vehicle. If you guys want the best price on any Ford product, check out their website in the link below, pick out a vehicle and they'll take care of the rest for you. But let's go ahead and take a full look at the inside, outside and all the features on this vehicle right here. So starting off underneath the hood, we have a 3 liter V6 EcoBoost motor. This produces 418 horsepower and 440 pound-feet of torque. Let's go ahead and close this hood and take a look at everything else. So up front of this vehicle, we have these LED accented headlights with our turn signals built in. Really aggressive stance on the Raptor. You have these big off-road wheels and tires, which we'll go over here in a little bit. Ford logo in the center with your front camera. Now there's two tow hooks up front. You have front parking sensors and you have skid plates underneath for all that off-roading you're gonna do in this thing. Moving to the side, here's our wheel and tire setup. So these are BF Goodrich all-terrain tires. You're gonna have a 17 inch wheel up front and in the back with your off-road suspension up front and in the rear as well. Now on the Raptor, you're gonna have these really wide fenders all the way around that give it a really aggressive look. It's also Raptor badging on the hood vents all the way around to give it a distinct look and here's your mirrors with the side camera built in these mirrors do have blind spot monitoring so that little car right there will add up orange if there's something in your blind spot there's keyless entry on the driver and passenger door so you can press this button to lock or unlock the vehicle same wheel and tire setup in the back there's your off-road suspension and it's nice it has these steps on the side so you can get in and out of it very easily you can see this one has some graphics on it with the Raptor logo. Moving around to the back, you have your spare tire right by your backup camera. Tow hook in the back, all of your trailer hookups with your connectors. Now you have this cool exhaust tip for your V6 EcoBoost motor. But let's go ahead and open up the back. So inside of here, you're gonna have a lot of storage space in the back. This just swings out. You can also lift up on this window and here's what you're taking a look at. So we have some floor mats from the factory. You also have a little bit more stuff under here, including your jack and a little storage area. But underneath there's tie downs on each corner. This does have the removable roof. So you have your roll cage built into this vehicle. Super cool backseat area with a 12 volt outlet. Now you can also lay down these seats if you need more storage space. But let's go ahead and close this up just like that. Nice and easy. Here's where you're gonna put your gas in at. This does require 87 octane or above, but it has the capless gas fill system. Also has the old Broncos leading up to the new one. So 1969 and so forth and so on. Let's go ahead and take a look at the back seats. On your doors, you're gonna have black with red accents. A Little bit of storage down here, but you have these really cool seats here in the back. Wrapped in leather with some mesh material in the middle. Red seat belts all the way around. Super cool seating area. And like I said, you can fold down these seats. So you just pull up on this lever. They'll fold down. You have to pop in the headrest and they'll lay flat. But let's go ahead and pop inside. I'm six foot tall on a good day with shoes on. Plenty of leg room inside this vehicle. Very good headroom. Nice and comfy back here. Now there's a handle on both sides so you can hang on while you're off-roading. And you have this Molly storage system with a little storage pouch right here. All of your window controls are going to be located down below. You also have a couple different chargers. So there's a 110 volt outlet and there's a USB-C and USB here in the back. You can definitely fit two full size adults back here. It is going to be a little tight here in the middle, but if you don't have anybody sitting here, you do have a couple cup holders slash an armrest. Like I said, the roof is removable, so you have some tabs that you just have to pull on each side, and this will pop right off. It does have a nice carpet material on the roof, so it does make it feel pretty comfy inside of here. But let's go ahead and hop up front and take a look at all the features up here. So on the driver's door, we have very similar accents. You have your door handles with the unlock and lock. A little bit of storage as well and a manual driver's seat with lumbar support. 
Same thing, wrapped in leather with that mesh material in the center. Raptor logo embossed inside the seat with your red seat belts up front. Now let's go ahead and hop inside and start this vehicle up. So, foot on the brake. Let's go ahead and hit our start button. And she comes to life. So really cool steering wheel in this vehicle. You have this red mark on the top with red stitching. Also, you have your Bronco logo right here in the center. All of your cruise control buttons are gonna be located on the left side of the steering wheel with your volume adjustments. You also have your different modes that you can go into. As you can see, there is a my mode in this vehicle, so you activate it by hitting the R button right here. Now you can also change your steering to comfort, sport, or normal. You adjust that by pressing this button on the steering wheel. Now to the right, we're gonna have call dropping, call answering. We can navigate our center menu by hitting up, down, okay, and going back. Inside this menu, you're gonna have a lot of useful driver assistance features. You're also gonna have a performance view. You can go up through your trip odometers, Raptor status, and you can also configure the screen. Now in the main menu, I was just in my view, but you have your trip fuel, Raptor information, navigation, phone, audio, and settings. Really cool digital display inside this vehicle. Behind the steering wheel, you're gonna have your downshift and upshift paddles as well. And you're also gonna have all of your windshield wiper controls. To the left of the steering wheel, we're gonna have lights for our mirrors, automatic light controls, and we can adjust our display brightness on our screens. There's an electronic parking brake and you can pull on this to open up the hood. To adjust your steering wheel, you just pull on this plastic tab and the steering wheel will go up and down, in and out. Let's go ahead and lock that back in place. Little handle right here for the driver. You also have one for the passenger. Across the dash, you're gonna have this kind of uh, polymer plastic material around. It's nice and tough and durable to the touch. Right above everything, you're gonna have a charger inside of here with a USB-C and a USB. Right below that, we're gonna have our front and rear lockers. You're also gonna have your traction control and your hazard buttons. There's an AC vent by the driver, two right here in the middle on each side of the screen, Bronco logo in the center, and you also have your glove box for the passenger storage. Now in our touch screen right here, it's gonna have an audio tab. So you have AM, FM, Sirius XM radio, as well as Bluetooth. You can hook up different phones to this vehicle. It does have a built-in navigation system different apps that you can scroll through, including Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, different settings and different features that you can configure. But this is a very large touchscreen. It's very responsive to the touch and very easy to use. Right below this touchscreen, you're gonna have all of your AC controls, plus your volume and tune button. Now you can turn your volume up and down and you can mute and unmute, plus tune through your music. You can also turn on or off your front and back parking sensors, the automatic stop start, and you can go ahead and pull up your cameras on the fly. So like I said before, this does have a 360 degree camera system. You can see in front of you, you have a wide view of the front and you can see all the way around you. Right below that we have dual zone AC controls. So the passenger side can be a different temperature than the driver's side. You have heated seats up front and a heated steering wheel. Right below everything, we're gonna have a wireless phone charging pad plus a USB-C and USB charger. Another handle right here for the passenger, and you have your gear shifter. So to shift gears, you have this little button up front. You can go back into reverse, neutral, drive, and manual mode, where you can use the paddle shifters. You also have different drive modes in this vehicle. So if we flip this to the left or to the right, I'll be able to scroll through all of those and show you. So starting off, we have slippery mode. We have tow haul mode, sport mode, normal, off-road, Baja, and we have rock crawl mode. So pretty much any terrain that you're on, this thing can definitely handle. You also have your two high, four low, four high, and automatic four wheel drive controls. All of your window controls are gonna be located here in the center as well as your mirror controls. Here's your window lockout button and you have your center console with a little bit of storage inside of there, plus a charger. Right above everything, we have our rear view mirror. There's also a couple different map lights and we have six different auxiliary switches inside this vehicle. There's three different garage door openers on the driver's visor. 
Plus we have a makeup mirror built in for the driver and passenger side. Right above us, we have all of our clamps and everything that keep the roof in place. Like I said, the front and back is removable, but overall, very cool interior on the 2024 Ford Bronco Raptor. Let's go ahead and take one last look at the outside and we'll go over the window sticker on this vehicle. Let me know what you guys think of the 2024 Ford Bronco Raptor in the comments down below. I think it's one of the coolest off-road vehicles that you can get right now. And honestly, I'd rather have this than the Jeep 392. Also, before we jump into the window sticker, like I said, if you guys want the best price on any Ford product, check out Capital Ford in Lillington, North Carolina. I'll have their website linked in the description down below. So this is the 2024 Ford Raptor Bronco 4x4, 3.3 liter EcoBoost V6 engine, 10-speed automatic transmission. Exterior color shadow black with the Onyx vinyl seats. Here's all the standard features on this vehicle. With your warranty, you're going to have a 3-year, 36,000-mile bumper-to-bumper, 5-year, 60,000-mile powertrain, and a 5-year, 60,000-mile roadside assist. Optional features include the Raptor graphic, orange seat belts. So with our base price and our destination charge, total MSRP comes out to $93,400. Here's our safety ratings on this vehicle. And with our EcoBoost motor, we're going to get 15 miles per gallon city, 16 highway with 15 miles per gallon combined. Here's the whole window sticker if you guys want to pause the video and check it out. But guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Again, my name is Joshua McDonald. If you enjoyed, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe down below for more car content. That's it for today, and I'll see you guys in the next video.